sister, I was raised in the village. Me, I'm not here for now. Well, so, sorry, so try I, to I speak. can't help the way I speak. Exposing the reality, African politicians and the press. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Think Tank TV, and thank you for joining us today. Now, in a recent press briefing, journalist Lila Johnson from Arise News found herself in a heated exchange with the Minister of Works in person of David Umahi. Despite attempts to silence her, Lila remained resolute, exposing a common tactics employed by African politicians, dodging uncomfortable questions. Like I keep saying, it's crucial for citizens and journalists to hold our leaders accountable to ensure transparency and accountability. Many African citizens unfortunately feel disenfranchised, viewing their leaders as untouchable gods rather than public servants. I'd like us to take a look at how the tactics used by David Bahi was maneuvered by Lila Johnson, a journalist from Arise News, as it was a real confrontation between them in a press conference that held just a few days ago. Do you want to hear the commentation and drop your thoughts? Let's get to know what you think about the tactics of Lila Johnson. I shall continually be here to serve you. Take a look. Um, you mentioned the ESIA is currently being carried out by... Uh, sister, I was raised in the village. Me, I'm not here for now. Well, so, sorry, so try I, to I speak. can't help the way I speak. You mentioned that the ESIA was being carried out at the moment. Um, the EIA Act of 1992... I need interpreter. Well, you have enough people next to you. The EIA Act of 1992 states that an EIA must be approved by the Federal Ministry of Environment yes. before the commencement of any project. No, Unless an exemption it's has not been also, given. There is preliminary approval. There is final approval. Has an exemption been given? And if so, if you have the preliminary approval... Exemption of what? For the project to start without the final approval. If you have the preliminary approval, can this be shared? We are following due process. So can we have a it copy of the preliminary approval? It is federal government that gives the approval. It's not you. It's so can we have a copy of the preliminary we, approval? We have the approval. And you can make that public to the media? Everything in order. Okay, thank you. Two more questions, please. You're saying it for yourself. Now, like we all know, corruption and poverty continue to plague the continent, perpetrated by leaders who prioritize personal gains over the welfare of their people. Nigerians must demand answers, not evasion. Our people actually deserve better. Lila standing firm symbolizes the resilience of the press in holding power to account. As long as journalists like Lila Johnson continues to challenge the status quo, there remains hope for a more accountable and just future in Nigeria. Many thanks indeed to all our viewers and returning subscribers. We really do not take it lightly. My name again is Moses and this is Think Tank TV. Please ensure you do well to hit the comment section and drop your thoughts. Let's get to know what you think about the tactics of Lila Johnson and we shall continue to be here to serve you. Also do well to intentionally hit the like button so that YouTube can recommend this video for more people to get to watch. Do well to hit the subscribe button if you're new to our station. Turn on the notification bell so that you can be duly informed when we put out more informative content like this. My name again is Moses and this is Think Tank TV. See you on our next video. Bye for now.